Cavs Customs 2014. As we proceed, summer's approaching, so we've got the big guns out today. We've got two for one, we've got Porsche Kenya, Super Sport Engine, we've got Gran Turismo Maserati as well. The Porsche Kenya belongs to a private jet members only company. They've asked us to just basically personalize this car as much as we possibly can. We've got the blo uh, brush black steel, we've got sign writing for them as well, with their logo and a bit of detailing. Other walls will be done into black. Gran Turismo on the flip side, that's come in black with a lot of chrome around the car, which for me, it's not a good look. The carbon fiber, all the chrome bits, inside, outside, a lot of the logo will be done in red as well, just to give it that extra detailing. We possibly might wrap it, but we're just going to have to watch and find out if that actually does happen along. The tint in the Maserati as well, he needs a lot of tints on the car, it looks like a big aquarium right now, so we're jumping on it now. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you soon. Cast Custom. Earlier, we've got the Gran Turismo here. We're starting off with the tints because that way we get that out of the way. The panels are going to be left as it is now because we're still going to be working on the side of the car anyway. So, as you can see now, the rear windscreen has been powdered up. This here, this is what you need to do to get the film to shrink into position. Do you know what I mean? Now, before Andrew you know, starts to lay the film on the car. Two front windows have been fitted, we're gonna put limo on the rail. I mean you can't have a Maserati with an aquarium window. Come on man, you've got to take that thing straight. So yeah, boom, we're on. Cabs. See the wheels are now back from um, the oven. It's been powder coated into gloss black. You saw what the inside was like before we um, powder coated it. I mean, when we say powder coat, this is what we do. We literally take off the tire, strip off the paint, and then powder coat it into a color of your choice. So all the inside, it's not just you know a spray from Halfords, which is spray the surface inside, outside, all being done in gloss black. So you know it's a professional job. Going on to the Porsche now. So, the majority of the car has been completed. We've just put the lights back in there now. Brushed black steel. Um, we still got the vehicle signage to do, but like I said, the majority of the car has been done. Rear, spoiler, both sides. All we've got left to do is just the roof. You know, we're gonna prep that, get that in, and then we're gonna move on to the signage stage where we've got to have their logo. But as big as possible on the rear windshield, website just uh, below that. We're also going to have the website down the seals on both sides. That's the design as we speak. We're going to cut that out and stick it onto the car. I'm not really too sure if it should go with silver or gold, but we'll decide on that later. Alright, so on the Maserati, we're carrying on, uh, like I said, the tints have been done, all blacked out rear windows. We're doing a lot of detailing on the Maserati, a lot of carbon fiber detailing on the outside, on the inside. The wheels are also going to be done in black, but right now what we're doing is carbon fiber detailing 
on all the chrome bits on the vehicle. It's looking amazing already and we're not even half in yet. So, you know, I can't wait to see the, the turnaround. That's going to be done in red. It's going to be a lot of carbon fibre and a red detailing all around the car. The roof trimmings have also been removed on the car because this is going to be done in carbon fibre as well. I've been wrapped in carbon fiber as you can see. We're still gonna do the dash, some parts of the center console and the gear knob will also be wrapped in carbon fiber. The wheels are coming off now, they're going into the oven to be powder coat into gloss black, and then we'll see where we're at. Right, so the wheels are out over now, it's come back gloss black as you can see. All inside, all done. It was what well, graphite, I think it was before we done it. That we're still gonna wrap that in gloss black with the red uh, Maserati logo to go on there. All the side vents and the badges have been taken out of the vehicle, like I said, these are going to be done in red to complement the, the carbon fibre and the black colour which the car is, so it's all been taken out, sand it down, prime it properly and then give it a good old bright red paint. has been completed, it's a supercar, we haven't done a complete transformation as such. I'm sure you're right. Start off with the exterior, um, realise I've been smoked, that's been carbon fibre wrapped, the badges that have been taken out and painted properly in the bright red, um, done alloy wheels, powder coated them in gloss black, centre caps have also been done in gloss black with the Mazda logo in red. If we go into the interior, see that the door trims have been wrapped in carbon fibre, wrapped in carbon fibre, carbon fibre, centre console, gear knob, same goes for the rear, all the chrome bits have also been wrapped in carbon fibre, same goes for the other side. This is also been done, this is the left side of the vehicle, if you come around to the front, the side vents have also been done in red, we've left the black mesh just so that's obviously go along with the black, the original black colour of the vehicle. That, I mean, when you see that now compared to what it was when it came in just a fresh looking black graphite alloy wheels, when you see it now, you know this is definitely been personalized. Or you could be fooled, you could have thought maybe he bought it like that from Nazareth. So, yeah, I mean, this is what we do Cows Customs, bring your dreams to life, let your car speak for you. <laughs>